Hi there, I'm so happy you're here. Welcome back. In today's video, we will be talking about engineering economics. But before we jump into that, I would like to remind all of you with an engineering education from outside of the United States. If you are interested in evaluating your education in this country, I have put together a PDF guide with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. Click the link below and you can download it for free. A little note here, some states will allow you to sit for the exam before you can do your evaluation. And some states will ask for this evaluation to be done before you're approved to sit for the exam. It really depends on which state you are in. That being said, let's jump now into our example for today. So today we're gonna to talk about inflation and inflation is simply the increase of prices over time or the decrease in the purchasing power of money. And here I have a picture showing the increase in the price for a cup of coffee over time. Let's have an example. Assume you make an investment which earns you a 3% interest rate and you live in a country where the inflation rate is also 3%. This means that you are not making any profit. In order to make any profit, you have to adjust the interest rate based on the inflation rate to come up with a modified rate. This modified interest rate is calculated using the formula. D, which is the modified interest rate, equals to interest rate plus inflation rate plus interest rate times inflation. D is the modified rate of interest, I is the nominal rate of interest, and F is the inflation rate. So in order for you to earn 3% interest in, on your investment in a country with 3% inflation rate, you must adjust your interest rate using the formula we just talked about. So your interest rate should be equal to 0 0.03 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.03 times 0 0.03. So your interest rate should be 6.09% in order for you to earn the 3% interest on your investment in a country with a 3% inflation rate. So now let's work on an example. The cost of replacing a tank in 15 years is expected to be $3 million. If the interest rate is 8% and inflation is assumed to be 5% per year, what is most nearly the cost of replacing the tank in today's dollars? So right from the start, we would do a calculation of the modified interest rate. So let's calculate the modified interest rate first. Modified interest rate equals to interest rate plus inflation plus interest rate times inflation. And this will equal to interest rate is 0 0.08 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.08 times 0 0.05. And we will get a modified interest rate equal to 0 0.134, which means the interest rate, the modified interest rate is 13.4%. And now if you look at the problem, we are given a $3 million, which are future money. This is going to be the cost of the tank in... 15 years, so we have $3 million. The number of years is 15, and we have the interest rate. So this problem comes up to a matter of converting a future amount of money to the present. Let me, uh, I wanted to show you in the FE handbook where you can find the formula for the interest rate. Let me go. For inflation and here is the formula I have just used in uh, the problem and now I'm going to go back up and I was talking about converting a future amount of money to a present and we have the formulas here so we have to convert to present given future so this is the formula we're going to use so let's do this the way it's done is we have to convert to present giving future 
our interest rate is 13.4% and the timeline is 15 years. So here results that present amount equals to the future amount times the formula we just saw, which was 1 plus i minus n, power minus n, 1 plus i power minus n, but our i is actually the d, so I'm going to put d here. This means $3 million multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.134 power minus 15 equals 4, 5, 4, 9, oh, 9, 96 dollars. This is how much the bank will cost today. And if you look at the results, the closest answer is D. $455,000. That is it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like because this helps put this video in front of more people just like you. Keep on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.